Hey everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It, and today I am going to show you how I make crosses out of palms that I get from Palm Sunday. I use these crosses um, in my play settings and all sorts of other decorations around the house for Easter, so I just thought I'd do a really quick video showing you how I do it. Now the palms I got this um, year are really dried out super fast. I don't know if our house is really dry or what, but man, they're crispy. So I've just poured some hot water over them in an attempt to sort of make them a little bit more pliable. So it's harder to do this when they're dry because then they crack. But when they're pl pliable, it's easy to blend, bend. So we'll just see how this works out. So I trimmed off one at one crispy end of my um, palm right here because I knew that this was going to give me problems. So I find the middle of my one palm. And if there's two together, you just want to strip them apart. So you have one palm one piece of a palm. So then you make a 90 or 45 degree angle up and then you come back down, kind of squeeze it, come back up again. Now you're going to take your left side and you're going to pass it over the front like this. And what you've done now is you've created like a little pocket right here in the middle. So you're going to take the side you just crossed over and you're going to put it through that pocket and you're going to secure it. You're going to pull it tight. So now I can let go. So you can see I've got like this little knot in the corner or in the middle. So you're making a 90 degree angle, right? Okay. So now it's time to make the little loopy parts for the cross part. So through that same pocket, I'm going to take my edge and I'm just going to pull it through like that much. And then I'm going to take my other side and I'm going to pull it through, I'd say that much. So there's my front. If you want to even it out, you can. There. Now I'm going to make the loopy top part. So I'm going to use my pocket again that I created, and I'm going to pull through the top. And there's my cross. I'll do it again, but I have to go grab a palm. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get one that's nice and wet. Right. Okay, so this one's been soaking too, but it's not as pliable as the last one, so this should be interesting. <laughs> so these, this one has like two together, so I'm going to separate them. See, I could separate it here, so I'm just going to pull it down, and I'm going to separate it. There. So that'll give me two crosses. Okay, so remember that crunchy part I was talking about before? Well, I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to trim this side. This has a crunchy part. And then I'm going to trim this side. We'll see what happens. You never know. Each palm is different. Okay, so remember, we're going to make a 45 degree angle up. Kind of bend it. Then we're going to come down again. This one I told you was a little crunchier. And then we're going to come up again. Then we're going to take this left side and we're going to fold it over. And then I'm going to pull my palm through that little pocket that I created by doing that. And I'm going to create a little knot, a little secured knot. You got to sometimes, you know, kind of work with it to get it through. There we go. It's twisted. So I'm going to pull it back out. There we go. Pull it around. See, you can hear this one is crunchier. I'm going to pull it all the way until I can. There. So there's my little knot, right? So now I'm going to Let's see. I'm going to go this way. Cuz you could hear how crunchy it is. So the chances of it tearing are much higher than if it was pliable. That's really why I'm doing only crosses this year because Oh, look at see what's happening it's sort of stripping it um because they're just they are so um dry i don't know what happened okay so i'm going to take both of these that split because sometimes that looks nice it adds a little design flair to it and i'm going to put it back through to make my little cross section horizontal section there we go see and then I'm going to take, now look at that looks pretty, those different variations. Now I'm going to take my bottom part, which is very crunchy, <laughs> two, 
and I'm going to stick it through this little pocket that we created. Ah, oh, if it would let me. There we go. And there is a very pretty cross. There. See, they all look different. Because it just depends on what the palm looks like. I'll do one more with that other palm that I tore apart. Okay, let's see. All right, so I think I'm going to, well, I think I'm going to cut this little end off there. Okay, so remember, we're going to find the middle. This one is crunchy too. It was the other half of that one I just did. 45, up, down, up again. So we are here. Then I'm going to take my left side and I'm going to just cross it over the front. And now's the time to pull it through that little pocket we just made to create that little, I'm calling it a knot. I'm not sure. I'm going to trim this because it's split. And all it's going to do is cause problems. <laughs> um, pull it through that little pocket that we created right there. Pull it all the way through there. Now I'm, it's time to make my little cross. So you can see you've got that nice little cross section in the middle. So then I'm going to pull it through this side and then I'm going to bend it. Ooh, and it's so dry and pull it through. And if you want to even it out, you can pull it through a little bit more there. Now we have our little cross section and now it's time to take, to make our top top cross. Bend it over, pull it through, and there you go. You have got a, if you want to even it out, you can, of course, you've got another cross. So that's how to make palm crosses. Very simple process, very easy, and fun to do. So as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.